back when I graduated high school, I got a job at a large manufacturing mail making carpet. I had been working about six months and moved out of my own, didn't have any pots and pans, nothing, and I got laid off. So as a result, I found me a little job on the side, and I was about six or seven people worked there at this little plant. And um, in the meanwhile, the other company called me back and said that they are going to give me a turkey because I was laid off. I was still entitled to it. So I went and picked up my turkey, and it was this big. It was the biggest turkey I'd ever seen in my life, frozen turkey. So I didn't know how to cook anything. I, all I'd ever cook was spaghetti. So I called my grandmother and I asked her, I said, how do you cook a turkey? And she told me, and I did everything. I cooked it all night in the one pan that I owned. And uh, so the next day I get up and it smells great. And I go in there and look and it's nice and brown and golden. It's the prettiest turkey you'd ever seen. It looked like something out of one of those housekeeping magazines. I was so excited. I had one pan and one pot. And the pot was the bottom of a pressure cooker. One of those big pressure cooker bottoms. That's all I had. And that was a hand-me-down. So I put the turkey in it. And I poured the juices over the top of it. And I put the tin full over the top of that. And I want to go to this little second job I've got that I've been filling in with. And um, I done told all the people all about the turkey. And that was how I was going to cook it for them. So they was all expecting it. Well, I go out to my truck. And I didn't want to spill the juices in the front of my truck. So I decided I was going to put the turkey in the back. Well, I'd been putting my groceries back there. I didn't think anything was wrong with it. And I didn't have a tailgate because of a little fender bender I had. But I had a bungee cord, and I usually just tied my groceries off up near the tailgate or the tail of the truck. I never had a problem. Nothing's ever fell out. I'd been doing that for about a month, and I hadn't lost anything. So anyway, I take off down the road, and I go several miles, go across some major roads and get to the little place I'm working at. It's pitch black, it isn't even daylight yet, and I get out, the door's still locked, so I go back to get my turkey out, and I was going to set it on the front steps there, and all of a sudden I realized my turkey's gone. I said, oh my gosh, all these people are expecting this turkey, I'm not going to be able to feed them now. So I take off going back towards my house. And I've got about seven, eight miles to cover, so I'm driving real slow, and I'm looking under trucks and cars, and I'm looking in the ditch, and I'm looking on the side of the road, and in the road, and in the hedges, and everywhere I can think of where my turkey might have fell out to. Well, I get all the way back to my house thinking that's where it was going to be. And I turn around the driveway, and it wasn't there. Oh, my goodness. So I come back, and as I come back, I'm looking in the ditch, and under cars, and, and on the side of the road, and I can't find my turkey. Well, I get on the busiest road in my town, and sure enough, it's, it's a four-lane. Traffic's just zooming. And there's a little restaurant right there, like a, a biscuit place, and right there in front of it is a gutter. And in that gutter is wedged my pan. And in that pan is my turkey, and it's wedged in the gutter. So I pull in this little biscuit shop, and I park, and I... I get out and I go down there and I'm trying to get my turkey out and I have this much room between my pan and the edge of the road where cars are flying by me. People are yelling and screaming, shooting me birds and yelling at me and I'm trying to get this pan out of the side of it and I can't get nothing to move and I'm fighting it and fighting it and fighting it and all of a sudden I said I just can't get this pan to come out. It had been apparently ran over by a transfer truck and the pressure from the tire shot it across the road and into this into this uh, gutter and it was wedged. Being in pan in the gutter, only about this much sticking out. And I said, oh God, what am I going to do? Well, I look inside the biscuit shop and I see a man in there and he's eating. So I said, well, I'll go ask for help. So I walk in the door and it's dark outside and the guy's sitting there and he has a long beard. And I walk up to him and I said, mister, when you get through, can you come help me? Because my turkey's stuck in the gutter. And the guy would not even look at me. He just scoots down to the next seat and won't even look at me. I said, Mr. Really, I've got a turkey stuck in the gutter out here. So the guy won't even look at me. So then I go back out there and I'm fighting my turkey and I'm pulling it and I'm wedging it. I can't get nothing to go. So 
about that time, the guy does come out of the shop, and he sees me, and he comes down there, and he goes, oh my God, you do have a turkey in the gutter. I said, yeah. So, me and him both are trying to get this turkey out of the gutter. Of course, he's laughing, but, and we're wedging it, and we're fighting, and we're fighting it. And we have about this much room and cars are about to hit us flying by. <laughs> and all of a sudden we hear a And I look up and there is a police car. The police has pulled up and he's blocking the traffic, thank goodness. And he gets out and the guy has his hand on his holster and he's got it undone. And he's got his hand there and he says, will you please step away from the curb? And I says, thank God you're here, officer, because my turkey's stuck in the gutter and I need some help getting it out. And he says, will you please step away from the curb, sir? Well, so we step up on the curb. And when we do, he comes over and looks down and he says, oh my God, you do have a turkey stuck in the gutter. I said, yes, sir. My turkey's in the gutter. Can you help us get it out? So anyway, the cop goes back and he gets some tools out and we get a pry bar and we got a chain and we're all three fighting the trail and finally, pow, we get the pan out. Well, the pan is crushed in and the tin foil is smashed down, but it's not touching anything. The meat's still, you know, under the tin foil. So anyway, I take it back home and I open the pan up the best I can and I scrape out the turkey and I cut the tire tracks out of the top of the turkey and I reassemble it in the only bow I have and take it to work and when I'm there at work then everybody's asking me oh how did you get this turkey so tender I've got to have your recipe and I wouldn't tell them I just told them it was an old family secret <laughs>